Hello, my name is Harold York. I'm a research scientist in Pasadena, California, and I want to explain uh, how do you determine the volume of a mole of gas. So this number of atoms or molecules, that's equal to one mole. Now a gas, as we know, can expand or if you put it under pressure, can contract. And actually can fit any volume you want it to fit into. Uh, if you compress it enough or if you let it expand enough. The formula to measure volume, pressure, temperature, and with a certain, with one mole, is P times V equals N, that's the number of moles, times a constant called R times T. If you want to know the volume and you have of one mole, N equals one. So now the volume is equal to this number R multiplied by T and dividing that by pressure. Now, there is something called the standard pressure and temperature. Uh, and that is, if we had a pressure of one atmosphere, that's the pressure, and we had a temperature equal to 32 Fahrenheit, that's zero Celsius, the Kelvin scale is 273.15 Kelvin. That's your standard pressure and temperature. In that case, if I have that temperature and that pressure, the volume of one mole is 22.4 liters. So, let me remind you, 22.4 liters is the volume of one mole of gas at standard temperature and pressure, STP is what this is called. If now I want to know it at a different temperature and a different pressure, I'm going to use the ideal gas law. So remember that the volume is equal to this constant R times T divided by the pressure. And this is 22.4 liters times the temperature divided by 273.15 Kelvin and I have to put the temperature in Kelvin and I divide this by the pressure. So that's one atmosphere divided by the pressure, again given in atmospheres. So that's how to calculate the volume of one mole of gas.